Nokia SSD Americas proudly welcomes our customers to our C-Band NR testing demonstration at Cypress Waters in Dallas, Texas. In preparation to support our customer C-Band plan, Nokia has already started testing two radio variants in our Dallas end-to-end -end lab and field test network. Our 32 TRX AEQV and our 64 TRX AEQE. The sites are configured with a carrier bandwidth of 100 MHz, modulated in 256 QAM and 4x4 MIMO set with a center frequency of 3.75 GHz. The infrastructure was operational by the 13th of May 2020. With Nokia engineers' diligent hard work, we were able to achieve the first L3 call on the 18th of May. The handover between two sites was successfully tested on the 14th of June 2020. A combined downlink throughput of 1.8 gigabits per second in a lab and 1.1 gigabits per second in a field test network was achieved. Now, let's look at two test cases. The first test case is downlink throughput testing. First, we'll bring the UE online and monitor messaging for a successful attach. Attach successful to the AEQV G node B. Network assigned IP is 10.48.44.210 Now, let us begin the downlink throughput test to the UE from the application server. The total downlink throughput observed on NR is 1.4 gigabits per second and PDCP aggregated downlink throughput of 1.8 gigabits per second. The second test case will demonstrate an inter B handover. For this, we will use two GenoBs one with an AEQV configured with PCEL51 and the other AEQE genome B configured with PCEL50. The UE first attaches to PCEL51. We will initiate the test case by using a programmable attenuator to trigger a handover between the AEQE and the AEQV. The handover completes successfully from P cell 51 to 50. Let's go to Dallas 5G Field Test Network.
let's go for a drive test. The dry test covered half a mile and lasted six minutes long. The call was stable throughout the duration of the test. Downlink data was active from the app server to the UE. Peak throughputs of 1 gigabit per second and a low of 110 megabits per second was observed during this test. There was no line of sight to the radio during most of this drive test time. FTN engineers tested various locations observing downlink throughput speeds of 1.14 gigabits per second and call stability for over 60 minutes. In addition, inter-genome B handover and beam switching features were also successfully tested. And that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for joining us today. We will report to you soon showing our progress with Nokia C-Band 5G NR solutions.